In May of 1991, members of a group called the Somali National Movement decided to secede from Somalia and form their own state. Since then, they've established a functioning government and an economy in a region known for war and poverty. But the Somaliland passport is only accepted by a handful of African nations, which effectively isolates its self-declared citizens. So, if Somaliland has all the makings to become a country, why isn't the world recognizing it? Well, in 1960, the occupying British agreed to lift their claim on Somaliland, as long as it merged with a neighboring former Italian colony. The unification resulted in the formation of the Somali Republic. However, the newly formed state quickly devolved into conflict. Northern Somalis, feeling too much power was allocated to the south, ignited a rebel movement. Within a decade, Somalia's president was assassinated, and a coup saw the brutal military dictator, Siad Barre, take power in 1969. He began a systematic campaign of human rights abuses. Dissidents were regularly tortured, raped, and killed. And by the late 1980s, sparked a bloody rebellion followed by a civil war. When Barre was ousted from power in 1991, a pro-Western insurgent group took over northern Somalia and advocated for an independent state along former British lines. By 2001, more than 97% of Somaliland's voters affirmed their independence in a referendum but their vote was rejected by both Somalia and the international community. One of the key reasons for this rejection is that the African Union feared that Somaliland independence would ignite other violent separatist attempts. Moreover, the ongoing conflict in the Somali region has made stability difficult and resulted in a long ineffective government. This would likely mean that other self-administered portions of Somalia, including Puntland and Jubaland, would also break away. This could potentially reignite territorial rivalries which have laid dormant for years. Though Somaliland does have informal diplomatic relations with a number of African and European countries as well as the United States. Although the Republic of Somalia formally recognizes the territory as an autonomous region, it refuses to accept that it's a fully independent state. Until it does, Somaliland will not find its way to sovereignty. This is similar to the situation with China's autonomous regions like the sovereignty-seeking Tibet. Still, few countries are willing to directly oppose the developing African Union over the matter of Somaliland's sovereignty. For now, Somaliland remains under Somalia's control and will continue diplomatically fighting for its independence. So, how can a group of people just declare their independence? What do you need to be a sovereign nation? Find out in our video, How to Start Your Own Country. The qualifications for what constitutes a nation were clearly spelled out in the 1933 Montevideo Convention. This agreement defined a state as having sovereignty regardless of whether or not other countries acknowledged it. Thanks for watching Test Tube News. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day.